Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. All of your dreams, all that you could ever hope and want in this world, it's right there, beyond that horizon, on Treasure Island. I don't have a boat. Well, then you're useless to me! Proceeds to, like, march down the docks to the next guy. <laughs> Treasure Island, episode uh, 21 of uh, season 3 of Dr. Stone. We're running the victory lap um, around the island, for the most part. <laughs> That's what it seems like, anyway. They beat Ibarra. They've, they've started bringing people back. They've started, or they've started to get their shit back in order. I said shit, uh, not the other thing. Calm down, YouTube. <laughs> but... And also, not only that, but just, you know, they recontacted Ruri uh, and, uh, you know, the you know the original settlement and everything. And then, of course, you know, we have um, the Y-Man, and you and I had a long conversation about where he's at, what he, like, what, is poss what the possible answer is as to why and or who and what uh, he is up to. One of the things that I noticed that's kind of a little bit of a plot hole to me, by the way, <clears throat> What's that? Is if he was able to launch Medusas down from the sky, why did he need to launch multiples? Why couldn't he just set one to hit the radius of the Earth again? I don't know. That's a weird one. If it is, in fact, it, on the moon, it would make sense as to why, you know, we did, like, the, the green light was coming from the other side of the Earth in the beginning of the show because the sun was up, which would... And the which would mean that the moon was probably on the opposite side of the world. So mm. from where Senku was, it looked like it came from on the horizon when instead it actually came from the moon. I mean, honestly, there's so many unknowns. There's like, and where they're trying to weave this story, I don't know what the hell they're gonna do. But I guess we'll see. The only way we're gonna find out is by continuing this ride and seeing what happens next. So here we go. This is Treasure Island. So in this new world, we even desire the very stars in the sky! Too cool! Science is so, so unbelievably bad! bad. <laughs> yeah, well, we're collecting materials from all over the world. All over the world, damn. The world's moon landing project begins now. Hey! hey. <laughs> there! Pretty cool, huh? Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, another melon head. I feel completely awestruck. Are there any other devices laying around? Since there was a whole storm of them and all? No, my lord had me destroy the lot of them. Oh. Save for the device the bandits took, that is. Our Medusa is the only Gorgon left. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a convenient plot device. So let's wake everyone up and get the hell off this island, guys. Yeah! Let's go! Not everyone. Oh, he's going to stay. Well, this is his home. I mean... I'm sorry I couldn't save you in time. And now, we're leaving. Seems you've forgotten Ryusui wants all he sees, including former foes. Yes. Kirasana. Um. Whoa. <sighs> um. After 20 long years... It's good to see you well. He's going to say. He has to. He has to at this point. <clears throat> it's got to be hard to see him sitting right there. <clears throat> Let's try to convince the locals to see our side of things. And once they're all on board, oh. we can put them straight to work. <laughs> I know that face. He thinks <laughs> when he has a plan. Who the hell was the he afro looking guy? I'm just goofy right. here. Oh, I think he was... Oh yeah, he was uh, one of the warriors from the first season, remember, in the tournament? I can tell you right now, being a ruler isn't easy. <laughs> well, so Considering the Islanders were only just freed from Ibarra, I doubt they'd be open to us bossing them around. Thing is, is you're already friends with their new leader, so... The plan is to let them independently go. decide if they want to ally with our kingdom. Keep thinking like that, and you'll be on the right track to becoming a mentalist, too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in your capable hands, Sawyers. Um, thanks. What is this? 
Oh no! Uh -huh. Oh no! Radio tower. The radio tower, so they can stay in communication. Mm -hmm. Show me! <laughs> Kasuki is just so excited to build shit. Please lend us a hand. It would benefit the whole island. There you go. Work together. Work smarter, not harder. The show has such a good soundtrack. It does. Like, I find myself listening to it every now and again, and I'm just like, damn, this has got some bangers on it. Even here to see. Oh, it's a windmill. So it's going to be power generation through that. Okay. What are you doing in the lab when the rest of us are celebrating, man? <laughs> what? Working on a project to get the old ticker really pumped. The hell? <laughs> the fuck? You ever been working on something for so long you forget to drink and you basically feel like you've aged 50 years? <laughs> I'm doing flame test reactions. Or Chrome's badass sorcery. Oh! All right, it's flame ready test. For some badass sorcery? I still don't get what you're aiming to do. <laughs> Let's just say it's for persuading any islanders Fireworks. who are convinced yet. Whoa! I shall begin preparations for our guests right away. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't say what I had in mind. Francois. They anticipate things like a legit fortune teller. Uh huh. So the windmill powers. The windmills to power Ice. the radio tower. It's working. So. Go on and start talking. It's both windmill uh, and radio tower. Hello. Right. Is my voice getting through? Oh. Yes, I can hear you very clearly. It's Yay. like you're speaking right beside me. <laughs> All right. The Edith Sway and Uppy is hey. hey. That ramen, like you were talking about. Blue spotted raspoil with water, celery, and cauliflower oh, fungus. Brother. Bon appetit. <gasps> bon appetit. Oh, I see so clearly now. Do a mask? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because... You would think that some of them would have like ocular like impairment, mm -hmm. and damn, yeah, they're basically having the equivalent of a festival right now. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, because it's like it's a cultural festival where you share your culture with others. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I probably should have suspected as much, but you were <laughs> eavesdropping, weren't you? Do you have a minute? Huh? I, I'm staying. I'm going to help all of the islanders start anew. I want to see them progress. Suki's so gonna be like, I had no doubt that was going does. to be your decision from the beginning. <laughs> when we first got here. Then stay. Only if it's what you really want, though. Master Soyuz, Senku's group has this Y man to contend with. That's true. He's dangerous too. So please join their fight, Kirasame. Me? They're going to need some fierce warriors to aid them. Mm. Your old lord's reincarnation could use a meat shield. I mean, loyal attendant and personal ripped bodyguard. Yes, <laughs> I shall prove my worth as well. Master <laughs> Soyuz, brace yourselves, everyone, for Rainbow Bridge Max Level. Aye, aye! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, no, we should get no. the oh. Ah, they can make it more. Ah, that's cool. Uh -huh. Come think of it, no. I'd never see fireworks again. Oh man. Here comes a big one. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you, huh? Not only was it big, oh. it was a giant smiley face. Yeah. Loved about 130 meters in diameter. Sodium oxalate made the yellow. And they probably used strontium <laughs> nitrate to get that kind of red. I can't believe that's how a preschooler just described fireworks. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, why is a grown-up acting giddier than a kid? You're making way more of a fuss than I am. <laughs> the science of gunpowder lives on in the hearts of many and gives hope for the future. Fireworks are proof of that, which is real beauty. May not have been Senku's like biological father, but he was his, he was a hell of a dad. Nothing's left of them, aside from a few shards of stone. <gasps> that isn't true. Everyone alive is doomed to die. Someday we'll all return to dust. But our hopes and dreams are passed down and refined. That ties us to the future, even in death. We'll fly farther than they ever did, all the way to the moon, and become astronauts ourselves. This place, 
really lived up to the name, Treasure Island. Okay. Gakuya and his crew rode in Soyuz capsules, which seated three. So only a few will be going. Goes without saying that we'll need a pilot. That's me! And we may as well stay grounded without a scientist. Whoever is most apt come launch day will receive that esteemed honor. Which will be Senku. Senku for sure. Yep. Gotta be Senku. <laughs> How very you. I'd rather not think about what combat on the moon is like, but y Man is one massive enigma, so... <laughs> Sounds like those seats will belong to whoever proves the strongest. We already know who the strongest guy around is. Ah. Mm. <sighs> They're back. <laughs> hey, hugs, hugs all around. The cracks on their faces are gone. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes, all gone. Got the device in unlimited revival fluid. By petrifying and reviving ourselves, we can heal the baddest of wounds now. Together, they're the Doctor Stone set. And also that means... Finally, we can that's right. Them. <laughs> yeah. Let's wake him from that cold sleep and let him thaw. Shishio Sukasa. So basically establishing everything going forward. This is yeah, this basically I know we have one more episode. Uh but this basically is just a setup for them to have various different kinds of adventures and basically just build new places for them to cultivate things and then move on. Basically reestablishing society one village at a time. And to keep everything clear, you know, because, you know, they talked about the limit of human, like, interaction, the 150 people of, like, your direct, like, interaction before you begin to, like, run out of, like, mental space mm -hmm. for everyone. I think that is probably the, like, keeping villages, like, reviving about 50 people. I would revive about 50 people, establish a village, build stuff for them, or build stuff with them, and then, like, build a radio tower. That way you can communicate back to the main base, and then boom, there you go. I think that's I think that's what they're probably going to be doing uh, over the next season, probably. And I don't know where all they're going to go because there's, ah, man, there's, well, there's a lot of places they can go because they've only been to like, to like the Japan area. My guess is in order for them to continue having conflict in the story, that there's got to be a lot more pockets of humanity that aren't petrified. I would say so, but at the same time, at the same time, probably not. Because if they do, if they're, if people aren't, um, if people aren't, uh, you know, if people aren't unpetrified, then basically they'll, like, they'll revive people, and those people who are revived will basically have their own ulterior motives and this and that and blah, 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 that it could lead to. That, that could potentially lead to conflict. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. If they do run into more pockets of humanity like this, then yeah. One of the things now, though, is they have, like, a trump card device. Like, they're like, we need warriors. And it's like... We got the bit. You have the Medusa, so do you really? Yes. Because like... here's the thing. The Medusa is not a be-all, end-all. The Medusa, say they throw it and someone intercepts it. I mean, I'm not going to say that it can't happen, but Ibarra knew that machine, knew that device better than anybody, and he lost. And I would say the best thing is having that as, like, your trunk card for, like, the end of it. Like, say they're, like, they're being beset upon all by all sides, and just be like, like, uh, like, 1,200 meters, three seconds, and then basically, like, throw it out there. And then have like the fluid, oh, like had the fluid over his head, ready, like ready to like pour down on himself. So as he starts to see his hand start to petrify, that's when he'll pour it on his head and then unpetrify himself. And thus, 
He's pet repetrified everybody, but they've won the battle. I'd say that'd probably be his best play. Uh, another thing I'm wondering is if the show couldn't go a little bit more sci-fi um, in the future, because if they are up against an AI, and that AI starts to figure out that like its plans of just using petrification devices are not really working for it anymore. Yeah. It might go the Terminator route and start assembling some kind of machines that it could send down to try to attack people directly. Ooh, that'd so, be something. And then if those machines are immune to being petrified, then they have a reason to have warriors because the true. it wouldn't work against them. Very true. Man, I don't know. I really don't know. There's... <clears throat> but... They are getting Sukasa back, which is a good thing. Having the strongest dude in the world at your back. Well, one of the strongest dudes in the world. And then, of course, you know, just everything else going on. I wonder how much longer the series has uh, got material to go off of. Because I'm wondering, like, if their um, adventures to build their rocket ship is going to last more than, like, you know, another season. Or, I'd say if four or five seasons. Or if we're actually nearing the end now, you know? I don't know, because they may do a time skip kind of thing. Because they showed, like, the building of the ship, but they didn't, like, show, like, all of it, all of it. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd i say they probably have five seasons worth out of it. They can probably get five seasons worth out of, like, I, at the current pace they're going. Because this was season three... They'll do season four, and they'll reestablish everything, and I think they'll be ready to launch the rocket at the end of season four, and season five will basically be, like, the battle. Like, I'm kind of thinking they could go longer than that, depending on the kinds of adventures they have to go through in order to get that spaceship ready, you know? Because if they're doing it step by step, like, each season could be a step. Like, and they could do like a four or five large step process to getting ready to build the spaceship and go on like to season like nine or ten before they wrap everything up, you know? Well, that's wishful thinking. I mean, originally that's That's what also you... just kinda of like gonna leave that whole problem of how long would the thing on the moon wait? How long would Y Man wait before striking again, you know? Yeah. It's like if he strikes in the middle of their preparations to go get him, then what are they supposed to do? Yeah. Well, here's the thing, maybe Y Man Maybe Wyman, where he didn't have anything, where he didn't have anything to do for, like, over 3,000 years, he got lazy. Or, well, outside of, like, trying to, like, eliminate that little pocket of humanity. But even then, because the main threat of humanity was mostly done, he didn't dedicate much processing power to the thought of, like, dealing with humanity anymore, and maybe he got lazy. And if he got lazy, then that's 3,000 years that he's behind on staying ahead of humans. Because if he wanted to, he could have already come up with countermeasures. It just depends on, like, what kind of processor or, like, how the, how the AI thinks. Because artificial intelligences are usually based off of a previous human mind. That's what they're usually based off of. Sometimes they're based off of a collective. But usually they go with, like, one base mindset which is like has a photographic memory has like has like a has like high aptitude so it's able to adapt like at really quickly has a huge memory bank and basically just never like it is never tires of like trying to figure out the problem you know critical thinker and i would say the biggest thing is just a depending on like what the ai is based off of if it got lazy, uh, and not by not having to really try over the last 3,000 years, then basically that's an advantage that humanity has, because that's 3,000 years that this thing could have been planning out countermeasures to deal with, you know, advanced humans, whereas it was been dealing with primitive humans this whole time, since, like, the initial, like, uh, petrification. I mean, I don't know. That, like, that's the thing. I mean... We're all, like, like we're throwing out all this conjecture and everything, and I still don't know. <laughs> I still We still don't know everything. We may never know everything until the very end, because they may save something for, like, the very end and just, like, turn everything on its head. Yeah, there may be some kind of crazy surprise that, like, debunks our entire theory that Wyman even is, like, an artificial intelligence on the moon, you know? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, we're kind of going with our predictions completely off that assumption that we're correct on that right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But we will, we may not be. May not. But I'm like that's what makes the most sense to me right now. But you know, yeah, know, it could be completely wrong. I guess. Yeah, it could be. We'll have to see. But for right now, everyone, we are going to have to end it here. So until next time, everyone. Signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Bye-bye.